going on? Got the Mighty Muffin flapjack version, 200 calories, pretty decent on the on the protein macros, 20 grams of protein. Maple pumpkin. Not gonna lie, when the pumpkin stuff comes out, I'm all like suburban soccer mom on you. Pretty good. It's not pumpkin pie, but it's pretty good. So if you're watching this video, you've already seen the title. Title is validation with a big fat question mark. Uh, because I think the need for validation today, I think is kind of a, uh, I think it's an issue. We all need validation. Uh, I won't deny that, you know, validation or some sort of I don't know, gauge or what's the word I'm looking for? Approval of what we're doing. <laughs> I think the source by which we all come across this validation uh, at sometimes may be unhealthy. Uh, and what I'm talking about, man, is, is really social media. Uh, and not and not just social media, kind of the validation of, of, of people in general. Uh, I think social media has made it easier for us to gauge validation. Um, and what I mean by that is, is you post something or you say something and, and then you have you have people who just watch it and watch it and watch it and watch it and they're counting the likes and they're counting the comments and they think they have all these friends based upon you know the success of their social media accounts and I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you if that were the case I'd probably be the most depressed person on the world because no one likes my stuff not even my wife thinks I'm funny uh, but in all reality though those are, are empty sources of validation Empty source of validation. If we rely on that, then 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 we start to put ourselves in an unhealthy situation for approval, uh, and we put ourselves, to me, in in a uh, at risk of, of becoming depressed or uh, other issues that that may come along with it. And so, there is a need, like I said earlier, for validation. But I believe there's one source of validation we should all worry about and then everything else kind of falls into place and and me personally the way I validate myself or I validate what I'm doing is I compare myself to yesterday and that's it if you are getting better on a daily basis you are making progress forward and you gotta understand half a step forward is still progress but if I'm making progress, that's how I validate myself. People who are worth having in your life will validate you as well. But it all relies upon you. And so what I do in the gym, I have a book like this. I track all my workouts. I put the weights. I put the number of reps. I put notes as far as how I'm feeling, what I felt I should have got, if I'm, if I'm happy about it because I got more than I thought I could. Uh, well, if I'm not bad about it, you know, I... I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I troll myself in this book sometimes, uh, but, you know, I, I look at it and I can go back and look at where I was a year ago and I can see what I did on a particular lift a year ago and see what I did on that lift today and I see that progress and that's validation that helps me kind of gauge what I'm doing is right or whether I need to change something. Uh, and you can apply that to any aspect of your life outside of the gym. You could do it on the scale. You could do it with how your clothes fit from a fitness standpoint. Uh, you could also do it uh, in a uh, work environment. Uh, are you contributing? Uh, are you understanding the job better? Uh, whatever the case is, you can do it on a social aspect. And you can do it on a spiritual aspect. All aspects of your life. To gain that validation, take some time during your day. Reflect upon who you were yesterday. Reflect upon who you are today. And if you're a better person today, 
that's validation. That's the validation you need, and that should be the motivation you need to go forward. Anyway, like I said, as always, thank you for checking out the channel. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and we will see you guys later on. I'm out.